Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. But that sucks because it's her birthday. Oh, oh. <laughs> like pro conceal and I'm gonna go underneath my eye. I'm going up this mountain to save my marriage. I don't know what to do but we checked our bag I just got my little tote bag and my jacket and we're going to Punta Con Con she growing up y'all I'm growing up baby <laughs> I done I done graduated from that carry-on I was carrying on like I was on spirit man it's it ridiculous <laughs> feel like a grown woman now frontier flight man I ain't never been on no frontier or spirit flight why did I have one bag <laughs> Oh, you bought your stuff, all your stuff in there. All right, we about to go to TSA. I'll call y'all back in a minute. We're not sitting next to each other. We sit in. She wanted to be a loser. I, I wanted to sit next to you. Yes, I did, but I wanted the window seat. I wanted the window seat, so I got a window seat. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Sell a bottle. Oh, sell a bottle. Yeah. I can't take it everywhere I think it's going. I've been in the field like the children of the corn. I can hear the tears when they drop over the phone. Get mad at yourself because you can't leave me alone. Gossip, get messy. It ain't what we doing. Traveling around the world. Over the phone, dropping tears. I get my bottle when I get through. When you drunk, you tell me exactly how you feel. Time away from women. I cannot convince you that I love you for a living. I be on your line, feelings flowing like a river. You be texting back, you and Kiki on the river. Message say deliver, but I know that y'all don't get it. Thank you. Why you introduce us? I know that you don't get it. I'm getting a fruity drink. Her pina colada is. What would you rate it on the one to ten? A seven. A seven. She said Not the best great. one she ever had was on what? Carnival? Mm hmm. And in Jamaica. He made me a fruity drink. I don't really taste no liquor, but I mean, it's pretty good. A reservation for the steakhouse, but you have to make a reservation between eight and four. We just got here, so it said that all the reservations are taken. So we'll have to go to the steakhouse tomorrow. But that sucks, cause it's her birthday. But you don't care, do you? No. Yeah, she don't really <laughs> care. <laughs> um, no. The steakhouse tomorrow. They got an Italian restaurant. They got a Japanese restaurant. When I had that uh, Chinese food, and Mexico, that was so good. And they had good yellowtail. In my last vlog, if y'all didn't watch that, go watch it. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna link it at the bottom. You oh. made me shake his hand, we got the fuck for a minute. Walk me off the plane because you know that I'm a swimmer. Supposed to be a dog. All right, so this is the room, you come in. This the bathroom. And then, that's me. This is the shower. I wish it could come out some more, but okay. And then you got this little section to put your clothes. And, and we got a coffee maker. It's like a mirror right here. They did not decorate the room for the birthday, but 
that's cool. We got the bed. They give you slippers and the robe. This is the TV. And this is the little just common area. And a desk. And then this is my favorite part. You can swim out into the pool. And then the swim out pool. So y'all, I did have to go down there and take them the ticket so that they can know to bring the bags. But he ended up putting the bags on here with me. So uh, I'm just riding back up here to the to my room. These days, I'm letting guy and the law things above me. The things I can't change are the reason you love me. Listen, you can hear them calling my name. I'm all over the place. I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all. Still finding myself, let alone a soulmate, I'm just saying. Feel like we one and the same, our relationship changed. Yeah, that it never existed. Whenever they say something about us, you listen. Well, fuck what they talking about. Yeah, I just deleted everything off my memory card by mistake. But today is Thursday. We about to get some breakfast at this place that's by the beach. It's by the beach. And yeah. So, hold on, let me show y'all the beach. That's cutting all in my time. It looks so What were they talking about on your time? That's cutting all in my time. My time. I was um sleep taking me a little nap but now I'm up and I edited the vlog completely it disappeared for some reason so I think I need to go uh to Apple because I need to get some type of one-on-one -on -one training because something I don't know what's it going on I know how to bring it back I gotta go back and pull it back from the old like I don't know what keep going on it keep on giving me this error message on my Final Cut Pro I don't know like but the vlog is fully edited. I just was going back through it to watch it through and add my stuff that I need to add in. I need to add one more thing in, like uh, my new my new Instagram and all that. But child, I was getting ready to do that. It came up with an error message and then it popped off. So I'm a, I put it together. But nonetheless, I'm about to get ready to go to the pool. I got on my pink swimsuit and I got on this little, um, hold on. Let me show y'all right here. I brought this when I went to Florida about two months ago. And I bought this from the beauty supply store from Beauty Master to put on as a sarong. And yeah, and I just got on these little sandals I got from Target. They like some Hermes boots and they look like, kind of like vacation. That's what they look like. So yeah, I bought them when I went to Mexico last time. And that's it. So I'm about to get ready to go to the pool. I'm about to get me a drink. They got the music playing. When y'all be going out, out to out these countries and all that, put your passport with you on your body, on your person. Cause I done seen people talk about they stole their passport. It, the, the people, the, the uh, staff stole their passport. Now they gotta go to the embassy. We're not doing that. I take the passport everywhere I go. It's in my bag, my passport, my car, your wallet, my AirPods. I leave my computer. I got it underneath the thing. Cause I gotta find my. You, you still there? I'm coming for your ass. Okay. But other than that, I put my computer underneath my suitcase on the little suitcase thing. But always keep your passport on you and your identification and your money. Shit, we in a you don't even know these people language in here to my passport. No, no, put your shit on you. I'm not finna be stuck. I gotta go to work on Tuesday. What's passport? Is passport Tito. I'm not finna Spanish. <laughs> Maybe it's passport Tito. I don't know what it is. Shit, you gotta look the word. Anywhere you gotta look the word up, you need to put have your passport on you. That's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is that pretty ass? 
going to be by the bar because we want to get a drink. They got a swim up bar. So we moving where we sitting at. And our neighbor that's next to us, he just keeps staring at us. He's so weird. So we had to move. She says you're my everything. I love you through everything. I done did everything to her. She forgave me for everything. This a forever thing. Hate that I treat it like it's a whatever thing. Trust me, girl, this shit is everything. All right, y'all, I'm leaving the pool. I got a side ponytail. And I'm about to go see the beach. And then we have an appointment. Well, we have a reservation. <laughs> I might be a little bugged. Somebody got an appointment. I got a reservation at the steakhouse at what time? 5 30. Six. It's 5 30 or 6. I think you asked it to be 5 or 6 when I said 6. I think it said 6 o'clock. I just know the phone party at. You so ready for that farm party. I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I want some food and we going to a farm party. You went to a farm party. A swimsuit? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm putting this swimsuit back on. Of course. But I say farm going to be everywhere. You wear clothes there? That's insane. Daddy going to a farm party where he's in Mexico? No. <laughs> <laughs> waiting on the shuttle y'all we have not been able to get the shuttle since we've been here we have to walk every time we go to the front i do not like that because i feel like in mexico the shuttle was just always right there like if we come out i don't know if you had to schedule it though that was just a different type of experience but literally we were just sitting out here and i just asked the man like how do you get the shuttle and he called on the walkie for them to come get us because we literally have been walking i don't mind walking but yesterday i was really irritated by walking because i had makeup on I had put that dress on and I just was kind of dressed up and I was like, I don't want to walk. If you got makeup on, you already know how that be. If you wear makeup, you already know how that be. But yeah. So I'm about to get ready to um, go get some lunch. I kind of wanted breakfast. I really wanted an omelet and I found my tweezers. So I did my lashes. But yeah, I really wanted some like lunch. But, I mean, breakfast. I wanted an omelet, but I had to finish editing. My my Final Cut Pro kept acting crazy because I was using my hard drive. I finally got it to work, so the vlog is uploaded, and I just have to wait. Well, I got to put my thumbnail and stuff on there for today because I want to put a vlog up every, every week. And, yeah, I'm trying to stick to what I said I was going to do. So, the vlog will be up today. It's going to be up a little late, but it will be up. It's Friday, so if you have not watched that vlog, go watch it. All right, let's go get some lunch. She says you're my everything. I love you through everything. 
I done did everything to her. She forgave me for everything. This is for everything. Hate that I treat it like it's a whatever thing. Trust me, girl, this shit is everything to me. She from the jungle. She from the jungle. I take somebody else's car. Try to undercover. This shit is everything to me. This shit is everything. Don't know where we stand. I used to hit you about everything. Oh, we still good. The buffet is the best meal here. Now, we ain't try all the restaurants. We might try some other. You don't have to try them. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, I don't got to try them in the background. I don't got to even try them. I'm going to tell you now. I know what I like the buffet. The steak. Because that steakhouse. Was not it was not here. Y'all saw the plate. It was not good, y'all. The best steak was from the buffet. The best steak Pass is from way. the buffet. I mean, from the buffet. <laughs> the best steak is from the buffet. That steak is good. They didn't have a one sauce yesterday, today, but yesterday they had a one sauce. You dip it in some little a one sauce and get you some little mashed potatoes and some or some rice and some broccoli. It's good. It's a real good steak. So what are we doing? And they had good. Oh, and pork and seasoned rice. Tastes like ham hocks. Um, want to get in the water? What you want to do? Yeah, which one? Are we going to fight for our life at the beach? <laughs> we, we almost died at your beach. <laughs> and you cut your leg up, man. I'm like, I'm surprised I ain't getting them cut. I chipped my nail polish because I was standing on rocks with no water shoes. Oh, my God. I was like, it's important. rocky right here. It's rocky. It's you was like, as soon as you said it, I was like, okay, and then just fell. Oh my, you did. I think the the, the uh, thing was too hard for you. You just like forget. It. You gave up. You start laughing like I just can't do it. You just got down in the water. I said, oh my god, please don't let us drown. Like, this is a weak way to die. I don't want to like, die weak. You said, get up, <laughs> get, get up, up, get up. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I don't want to die weak. Like she drowned, but it wasn't even that much water. She died right in the front. It, it pooped the ground. They said. The just That's a out. weak way to go. That's a weak way to go. You done fell on some rocks in the in the water. In the front part of the water. Not even deep in. Just in the front part. That shit was fucking way calf deep. Man, that shit was calf deep. I gotta go better than that. I can't go like that. That's shitty. Riri, it's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You fine. You about the finest thing in this time. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday. Thank you. What you doing? Okay, y'all. I got on this little string bikini from Pretty Little Things. This mirror is a little in a weird spot, so I really don't even like, I mean, I haven't showed y'all what I had on. This is my string bikini from Pretty Little Things, and then this is my little thing I got. I think I got this from Shein. First time I went to Mexico. So this is my cover. Bottle full of dubs. I'm in love with sex, I ain't into making love, so come give me a hug. You can get me up. If I need to talk, move around. Are you down for the. And stop this and gave us some food. So, noodles, squid, shrimp, and look like mussels or clam. Or so, they stalked us down. They stalked us. He said, come on over here and get you a plate. Like your great grandma do. It's tomato based. I mean, one thing I can, I can say is they'll mix some shit up in some noodles. Cause they got a little station at the buffet where they put like vegetables. I guess you can pick your meat and they mix it with noodles. And I don't know what got sauce or not. It's giving like a seafood spaghetti. Chilling on the beach. 
beach. It feels so good. But I wish they could bring you something to eat to the beach. That'd be perfect. With that, um, with that, um, the lady back there who just said the massage. What about her? That should probably be nice. A nice little massage. Yeah. <laughs> They, I don't like people touching on me like they tired. I'm gonna transfer it on. I'm like not. going through a lot of life. I don't want no, that hand energy on me. I'm good. So we're about to get ready to go eat dinner. I am hungry. I don't think I'm doing no makeup today, y'all. Um, I'm probably gonna put on a little concealer. So I can't find my Fenty concealer that I'm gonna use. So I'm just using LA Pro Conceal and I'm gonna go underneath my eye like this. This will like highlight my face without so much. You can only do this when you have skin that is hydrated and you know, your skin doesn't have like blemishes. If not, you'll have to use like a concealer that's your shade to hide the blemishes and then go in with this just to give you like a natural looking finish. So yeah. So I'm just gonna do this. Cause yesterday I didn't really want to put makeup on. I just did because I had my makeup and I was like, but I really didn't feel like putting it on, but I just did. This vacation has been like a real vacation, just like chilling. I'm not doing too much, just really relaxing. But yeah. I don't know why the hell my edges are like they don't want to lay down. It's irritating. Maybe because that water hit it. I've been dipping my head all in the water and everything, try. All right, let's go eat dinner. Come on. I'll show y'all my outfit before we go. I got on this little shirt from Pretty Little Thing. My shirt from Old Navy from the last vlog. I bought these shorts. Then I got on these little sandals from Target, this purse from Zara, and these bangles from Amazon. All right, that's it. So let's go eat. But I wanted to come out here and tell y'all because I thought I recorded this clip when I um, was in Punta Cana, but I didn't record it. We went to the beach. And when I went to the beach, I'm like, do the beach close at a certain time? I don't know. So we went to the beach. It had to be like 10 o'clock because the, the little, um, the bar area closes at 10. So it was like 10 because they were still over there, but they was about to go. So we went, we sat on the beach. So I'm like, I don't see nobody and nobody said nothing. So I'm like, I guess maybe we can sit on, sit on the beach. I see the security guard coming from behind us, like walking, right? So we just sitting there on the little things. Like it's like some chairs that we would just sit on when we go out there. So we just out there chilling on our phones, 
listening to the beach. I mean, listening to the waves and just sitting there. So while we were sitting there, the security guard, he comes and he's don't, he doesn't speak English at all. So I'm like, what time does the beach close? So I put it in the translator. So he just like, I said, what time does the beach close? He just like, and smiling, right? So I'm like, what the hell? So he gets close to me. And you know how when you was kids and you just sit next to somebody, like they may be your crush or something and y'all legs be touching each other or like rubbing against each other. That's what he was trying to do. But he was sitting on my side, sitting next to me. So I'm sitting there, I'm like thinking, is he trying to touch my leg? So he keep pointing at me and telling me, like trying to tell me to get on the other chair or something that he was trying to tell me. So uh, my boo was like, oh, tell him that I'm your sister. So I put like something like, I mean, this is my sister or something. That made it worse. He kept trying to put me in another chair. I was like, I think we should leave. Because he kept pointing at me and telling me to go to another chair. But he still was just sitting there close as hell, right? So I'm like, we should go. So I'm like, I think we should go. So we get up to leave. He trying to push me back down. Like, no, no. Basically saying, no, 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 don't, don't leave. Like, you're good, you're good. I'm like, uh-uh. I don't know if you trying to uh, sex traffic me or what you trying to do. But it's going to be a no. I ain't know what the heck was going on. I had to tell y'all that. It was just scary for real then when i kept looking back as we was walking away he would just i didn't see him like he was just behind this pole just looking stupid i'm like do he even work here and then he had the walkie talkie on the walk somebody was saying something on the walkie talkie and i'm like what is they even saying i don't know he just came out the woodworks where were you even at sir because we were just i looked all the way over there when i was coming on the beach what you over there hiding or what is it i don't know it was very creepy so yeah i had to tell y'all that all right, enjoy the rest of the vlog. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to show y'all my outfit. This is from um, Pretty Little Things. It's just a pink linen set. I think it's cute for vacation. I like the ties, like, and it has a tie going down one, two, three. I feel like I could have went a little uh, smaller on the shirt, but I think it's cute and comfy. Yeah, it's cute and comfy. So that's what I got on. So yeah, let's go get, let's go to the coffee shop. This lady asked me, she was like, she was Australian. She was like, did you get your outfit from Pretty Little Things? I was like, yeah, I did. And she was like, I was gonna buy that, but Pretty Little Things size and it's so weird. And I was like, this shit is weird. Cause I normally buy like the bigger size and then I'll buy the smaller size and then I'll send back whatever one don't fit. So she was like, it, it's not bad, but some stuff you just gotta know. I shop at Pretty Little Things a lot, y'all already know. So I kind of already know like if it's stretchy, I can fit it. If, what I'm gonna be able to fit and what I'm not. She was like, you look so cute. She was like, I'm going to buy that because I was going to buy this for this trip. I said, yeah, this is a cute little resort little outfit. It's just so cute. Thank y'all to everybody who watched the vlog, the last vlog. I was answering my comments when I was uh, drinking my coffee. So that was cool. I had some good comments. I was like, oh, these are some good little comments. And I, uh, yeah, some of y'all follow me on my new Instagram page. So if you have not went to go follow me over there, go follow me. I tell y'all these nippies have been a lifesaver on this trip. Um, I think I told y'all, I feel like I should have went one shade lighter, but nonetheless, because this is the shades. Can y'all see here? So these the shades. I feel like I should have did about right there. Probably. Yeah, because that's too light. I probably should have did that. But these work so good. And even if you don't have a bra on, you can hide your nipples because I know my nipples still be on her. So, yeah, these work really good. I'm going to put the link in my down below if y'all want them. Okay, I'm going deeper into the ocean. What's the prep talk? Just hold on to me and don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay, I'm gonna be fine. It's not even deep. No, it's gonna okay. stop at your titties. Stop at my titties. Just stand up if I fall down. Okay. Yes. Okay. With a wet, with a wet. I'm gonna try this. Let me go if we jump. Y'all might not be able to see this, but you'll see if I get wet. Okay, call y'all back. These waves ain't no hope. And I'ma just leave it at that. I'm going up this mountain to save my marriage. <laughs> I've 
begin to pass on. Then my head hit the wall. Boom. And I begin to slide down the wall. And it, but I had a praying grandmother. And I knew enough to call on the name of Jesus. Give me a five, Aries. Five, five. Do you? <laughs> Good waiters. Good waiters. <laughs> Nathan, Wendy's, all right, so we just made it to the airport, what time is it? Our shuttle, I mean, the bus driver came at 9.15. We got here at like 10. It was a little line, well, the Delta section didn't open until 10, so we got there at 10. And then we paid $20 each to fast track us through customs because, child, that customs line was long as hell. So now we're just sitting here. We don't leave until three something. Well, our plane probably boarded like two something. And we're just sitting here. So let me get my overall review of Punta Cana. What's your review? We already decided that we will never come back unless, uh, yeah. only to do uh, dinner in the sky in Punta Cana, yeah. but only for like two days. And to go to that. Uh, and to go to the skate park. Yeah. Then the only two things that we didn't do, we didn't do the skate park because there wasn't no availability. We didn't see any availability when we first looked when we, before we came. But it looked like it opened up when we got here. I don't know, but we was already too late. And it was too many days in here. So we decided that we are probably gonna come back for like two days and go to the skate park, go to dinner in the sky. Cause we didn't get to do that for brunch. Because when we went to the steakhouse, the food was not good. And we just felt like going to the steakhouse kind of made us feel like, cause people were saying that the food at dinner in the sky is not good. So it was like, damn, we paid dinner in the sky like $185 a piece. It's like, and the food not good. So it was like, maybe brunch, cause brunch is like bacon, waffles. You know, you can't go wrong with brunch. <laughs> and if you kinda do, you kinda can finesse it to be like, oh, I had a little bacon. Bacon can't go, I ain't never had no bad bacon. Unless it went fried right. Okay. The hotel, I do not suggest. Unless you're taking like a last minute trip. I still don't suggest it, to be honest. Like, even when I checked out, the lady was like, how did you like your stay? I said, we didn't even know how to get on the shuttle. A lot of the people were saying no. We asked them to get on the shuttle, with the, get on the shuttle. And I said the sheets was dirty in that room. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you didn't do nothing to compensate. Cause, the refrigerator didn't work. And our refrigerator didn't work. We and called we multiple called. times and they did not come to fix it. And I just didn't like the hotel. I didn't feel like, you know, when you go out of town, you be like, damn, I can't wait to get back to my room. I didn't feel like that. And I also feel like our room smelled like mildewy and kind of wet because we had a pool attached to it. Or I don't know, maybe all the rooms are like that. They need some better plumbing because I could smell like the, the plumbing wasn't right in like the toilet. I could just smell when the plumbing not right. So yeah, I just didn't like it. I wouldn't book there again for a thousand something dollars. It just wasn't, it wasn't, yeah. 
it just wasn't I didn't feel I was ready to come home to be honest now did we have fun on the overall trip I mean yeah. we can make anything fun you know so yeah we did have fun especially the last day because we met Amasio and Darius and we were drinking they let us play our own music because we was tired of hearing Mexican music I'm not gonna hold you up it was like yeah but for the most it part, we made the best music. Of Spanish music. <laughs> but for the most, we made the best out of it. But I don't have to come to Punta Cana again, except for those two things I said earlier. So yeah, that's my review of Punta Cana, Ocean El De El Faro. Don't pay attention to the people on TikTok. They be talking about this is my favorite. It just wasn't. I didn't like it. But I also felt like the workers, like they just, some of them was happy. I'm not gonna lie. Some of them was happy, but some of them looked like they were overworked and tired. And one of the workers told us that he do, they work like 10, what they work? 10 hours a day, 12 days on, three days off. So they only have, so a lot of them look tired. They, they look all, exhausted. I don't like that. They all live an hour away. And, and they the all bus. live an hour away and take the bus to come to work. And they look like they look like they take the bus to come to work and they just look stressed out and tired. And I don't like that because I'm all enjoying myself and then at the expense of these people that are probably not making enough money and probably they just tired as hell. I just don't like stuff like that. Y'all already know how I be. But Punta Cana, I mean, it was an experience. Mm -hmm. I should have known that Dia was um, working all that when I did the cruise, when I went to Puerto Plata. You said you didn't like it, I didn't but like I felt Puerto, like I told, but you, I told you. I told you I didn't like Puerto Plata side, so I was like, uh, maybe I don't like the Punta Cana side. No, I never. No, like I don't have to come back. I don't. I'm sorry. I'll also insert like all the places that I felt like had the good food. I'm going to insert the names of the places as we go throughout the vlog. I'll tell you what I liked at each place. In case you do want to come here or it's a last minute trip or somebody already booked it, yeah, you could do that. But for the most part, I would never book there again. I don't, I don't even want to stay in no uh, no hotels affiliated with that hotel. I just don't. It just wasn't. It just wasn't a good experience. But we made the best of it. So. I'll see y'all on the next vlog. If you have not subscribed, go subscribe to my channel. All right, that's all I had to say. I love y'all. Bye.